it's Saturday morning. We're up here just outside of Saginaw, Michigan. Um, we're at a Love's truck stop. It's a brand new Love's too. Take a look at this. It uh, brand new uh, fuel aisles, hardly even dirty. We're uh, picking up, uh, picking up, we're filling up with fuel. We're, uh, it's a little quiet. There's one truck running over here, but it's nice and quiet. Let me uh, do a quick pan of the uh, truck stop. Hardly any trucks here. There's the cat scale right there. But uh, said they got laundry facilities in here, so we might do a little laundry, hang out, get a shower. But uh, that's the def right there. We filled up with def down in um, Ohio at Perrysburg, so we don't need any def. And we're getting some fuel. Look at that. Look at that price right there. You can't beat that. $2.84 a gallon. So we're trying to get as much as we can. It just clicked off. So uh, let me uh, finish topping it off there. And uh, I'll check in the guys in a bit. All right, good afternoon. We are up here in the hood squeaking. We're up here in uh, northern Michigan. On I-75 North, I uh, I got quite a few requests for footage going over to Mackinac Bridge, so I will record going over the bridge, and I'm gonna just record in real time driving over there. I'm not gonna speed it up or anything, and hopefully the hood will quit squeaking by the time we get there. Um, so you guys can see going over the, hood, uh, the bridge. I don't, I don't think I've been over this bridge. It, I might have, I just don't remember. If I have, it has been a long, long time. But I just don't remember. It is a toll bridge. And uh, I looked up online. And it looks like it's going to cost $5 an axle. So it works out to, what, $25 across the bridge so let's make our way over to the bridge the next thing you see is going to be going over the bridge and I will talk to you on the other side all right we're coming up on the uh, Mackinac bridge here I think I'm saying that right remember I'm sure I've gone over this at some time or another but I just don't remember it all right I'm gonna be quiet and just concentrate driving over the bridge here and you guys can watch
climbed over the bridge. That wasn't too bad. That reminds me, uh, that bridge reminds me of the bridge on um, Route 50 uh, over by uh, Baltimore, Annapolis, going over to uh, the Eastern Shore over there. Uh, that's a pretty big bridge, too. And uh, it can get kind of windy across there sometimes. So we're coming up on the Toll Plaza, and it should be $25. $5 an axle, I believe. So I got my $25 ready. And then we're going to get on Highway 2, Route 2, um, to, uh, and then kind of cut around the lake, whatever lake this is. And uh, so we still have about 200 more miles to go. Let's just go over here in this far lane. That way we ain't got cars buzzing on both sides of us here. And usually the far lane is a little bit wider also. So we'll just come over here. So we're going to get on Route 2, which is right up here. And uh, run Route 2, like I said, for about 200 miles. So we still have a long way to go today. Pay the toll here. here to Iron Mountain, Michigan, which is right on the state line of Michigan and Wisconsin. Almost said Michigan. Um, we are where we're supposed to be. It's pretty quiet over here, so we should be all right. It's a little tiny town, so I'm, I don't think we'll have a problem. Um, so we went over the bridge and then um, 
it was about 200 miles of uh, two-lane traffic, as you saw, uh, driving through there. Weekend, holiday traffic, RVs, everything, which is a little nerve-wracking sometimes. But we survived. Um, we do not have a reload for tomorrow, so I don't know what we're going to do. Most likely, we're just going to head south, go down to... Um, like Madison, Wisconsin, somewhere down in that area and see if we can get something down there. And, um, uh, but from there, I don't know. We did, we were offered a load right out of uh, Iron Mountain here, but it was going to Nebraska. And which was good from out of Iron Mountain, but out of Nebraska, Katie looked, she said the closest thing where it delivered to over Nebraska. The closest thing is 250 miles away and it pays $1.35 a mile. And uh, I said, nah, let's just take our chances and um, we'll uh, we'll get something. We'll stay stay in our little area. You guys know I like to run kind of a, the Chicago corridor. So uh, we'll look for Illinois, Indiana, something like that. But anyway, uh, it's been a good weekend. Nice weekend. The weather's been beautiful. It is still beautiful outside. So, uh, it has really been a nice weekend. Enjoyed staying at the um, the Loves there. This is brand new Loves. I asked them. They've been only open six weeks. So it was a nice brand new Loves. So anyway. All right. That's it. Uh, we'll call it quits. We'll hit it again tomorrow. Thanks for watching.